A few months ago, I launched merch and in that merch, there was a special promotion where anybody that bought merch would either get a custom keyboard built by me or get their keyboard upgraded by me. Now this person, they chose to get their keyboard upgraded by me because they have a really strange layout. So as you can see, it's ortholinear and it's like weird looking, you know? The drop alo could be prionic in red with alpacas. I believe she did lube the these. <laughs> Obviously this keycap profile is like not working. It's not not working very well when it comes to this layout. So I guess we want to hear what it sounds like at first. not bad. She said that she did not film them. I hopped on a call with her and I think she said the main problems here is that the keyboard is too hollow and that the switches aren't exactly what she wants. So she was like, yeah, I sort of like Garon CJs. I'm like, okay, cool. I could totally like do that. So I did hand lube them the other day. And yes, I hand lube my own switches. Sometimes I really think about getting somebody to do it for me. And then I'm like, well, I need brainless work still. I've got plastic bags. We can store the original keycaps and switches. I'll probably keep this one even on the new version. I don't know what it is, but it is really cute. It's like an egg with a squirrel looking thing made of resin. Very cute. What? <laughs> okay, so there's some alpacas and then there's some Garon black inks as well. We've, we've got a variety of switches in here. Very unexpected. Oh, and there's also a Garon CJ in here as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? That That is a, it's a lot of stuff going on here. I see she's a woman of culture. Variety is a spice of life after all. What do we have here? Tiara, milky yellow. Nice. So far I've seen four switches in one keyboard. Oh, another one. Milky Blacks, yeah. I have a feeling this was her like switch testing board. I probably will be replacing the stabilizers too. Everything here can just go into a bag. Oh my gosh. She did say that she had a hard time pulling out the switches. Very accurate. Why are these so hard to pull out? I understand now why someone would want me to upgrade keyboard. <laughs> I may even have arthritis by the end of this, but a deal is a deal. A lot of people say 60% is totally usable, but then whenever I try it, I'm just like, uh, no. I'm also too smooth brain for less than 65. My brain is too, too rock hard for that. I feel like we're missing we're missing screws for the standoffs or we're missing something <laughs> they are glued in there yeah there's yeah gosh last one oh there we go that was tight that's what she said that's what he said no i don't know somebody said it okay now i have to unscrew these things wow the screw is so long Wow stick makes everything fast. We like wow stick. Okay, these stabilizers, we're just gonna replace them. And then this keyboard doesn't let you really put much stuff inside it or any foam really. It would have to be a really thin layer. I think this is way too thick. Like barely fits in there. I feel like that's too thick. I will need more options that is not this. It almost feels like it needs to sit flush to fit there though. It's a tough one. Might just do tape mod on this. Yeah, I think you're right. Tape mod's the only option here. I might do the stabilizer before the tape. Yes, that's a smarter idea. Hey, that looks good. That is pretty solid. Okay, tape mod time. I wonder if the electrical tape will work on the bottom of the keyboard. I usually always use electrical tape, but then people are like, well, everyone else uses blue tape, so maybe you can use blue tape. <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine. I'll use blue tape then. Okay. And to put the screws back in. The wow stick's nice because it doesn't have a bunch of torque. So when you get to the end, you don't keep going. I swear we're missing like standoffs or something. I might steal standoffs from my plank if I have them. I have I have one standoff that I could steal. Should O-ring mount this bad boy? <gasps> You're right. 
That could be really interesting. And we've got a little bit of bounce. These are the only O-rings I have. Will it work? We're going into unventured territory here. So it would have to go through. And then you would O-ring like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now to put this in. This is the, the harder part. This keyboard is not cooperative. Oh, it's, it's, it's loose now. We're good. We're good. O-rings complete. I think that's good. Okay, I'm ready for or switches. Oh, no. No, here I am trying to clean up and the world's like, nope. It's so tight that I'm, I'm personally scared for my switches. It is tight. It's like mortifyingly tight. I think the plate is just super warped. It's like bent like this. Ooh, maybe if I do that, that'll help. That'll help. This is all kinds of wrong. I don't recommend you do any of these things to your keyboard. The right side is probably the scariest side. If we could problem solve that situation, that would be awesome. Oh, that's the problem. Haha, <laughs> it wasn't screwed in all the way. Well, that was just an idiot mistake. Now that we figured out the problem, we're making good progress. Wanted to make your own switch, we do. So we're in contact with a bunch of different manufacturers now. You know, just starting up the conversation, not dedicating ourselves to any singular manufacturer at this point but learning about the different options that we have it'll be very fun right now i don't know the name of it the colors anything but it'll be a very community driven kind of switch i definitely want long pole stem those are my favorite sounding linears of all time all right i even have some switches to spare so i bought this ortho kit from drop it's called the MT3 Dev slash TTY Ortho Kit. Being the ortho noob that I am, I'm not even 100% sure that they will fit this keyboard, but I sure hope they do or else. This profile is MT3 profile. All right. There are a lot of escape keys. What in the actual heck? But I said I would use this one. So there it is. Why the heck there's so many escape keys? Okay, actually this is stupid. Before I put on keycaps, I really need to make sure that it works. So four doesn't work. Replace it with another one. And now I go back to putting keycaps on because we're good. Oh no, it might still be a weird layout because <laughs> it's Colmac. It's cursed now. We've now ventured into cursed territory. I'm not putting in random letters. Here, I'll show you. See this? <laughs> this is the original. I'm not some weird troll that puts in random letters. I mean, I don't know how I feel about this. It's only slightly cursed, only a little cursed. Maybe put some symbols here just for kicks. I don't know what these are, but they can go there. Okay, obviously I cannot type with this thing, but I will let you hear all the goodness that it has to offer. Is it bouncy? It's bouncier, I suppose. The finger positioning is so, so wrong. What? That was pretty good. 18 words per minute. Nice. Some bounce to it. A little bit more comfortable. I finished up the, um, I don't want to say jank. It's not a jank keyboard. It's a great keyboard for the person that will use it. It sounds pretty good and I hope they like it. And if not, you know, I can always buy them new keycaps because this one is not looking like how it should. So yeah. Hope they like it.